collagen, <laughs> it's funny because I don't actually know too much. I know that it's something in your skin that plumps it. I know that it helps with helps me with my hair and my nails and my skin. Um, and that's, yeah, that's the main reason why I take it. I think that I've read somewhere or I've seen somewhere that it's like a protein. Um, and I think the only thing that I would probably be able to identify is that it's meant to be like good for skin health. Collagen has a really universal role in the body. Um, in particular, obviously our skin and that's what I tend to focus on. It's one of the main proteins in the skin's formation, in the skin's function. So when you look at someone and you see their uh, skin texture, how well hydrated their skin is, it really, really comes back to collagen and plays a big part. So we do produce collagen naturally and up until our late 20s, early 30s, kind of my age, <laughs> or I wish, um, it starts to then slow down. So it's a really important time to consider a collagen supplement like the Q-Silica Pro Collagen. It's our connective tissue, it's our bone density, and even our, you know, I am vain at the end of the day, a little, a little bit. So our hair and our nails, um, it's going to really strengthen, keep your hair looking shiny. So collagen really is a plus. So if I had a choice, I would probably rather lean towards the, um, the plant-based products. A lot of people aren't aware that collagen itself is derived from animal sources. So if you are a vegan, if you are someone that you're mindful of this, it's obviously something that you don't want to do. So is there vegan collagen out there? And the answer is yes. So the Q-Silica Pro Collagen Supplement contains a painted to natural wheat seed extract, which is known as ceramicides. Ceramicides moisturise the skin from within and colloidal silica and vitamin C, they help with the natural production of collagen. Although I'm not vegan as such, I've made small lifestyle changes from cutting out dairy to using products that are ethically sourced, that are um, kind to the environment, kind to animals, but above all kind to my body. Um, I'm not vegan or vegetarian, but I think that introducing those kinds of products is actually becoming more commonplace and it's something that I would definitely think about. I would say on a scale from one to 10, the importance of skincare is probably around eight. I'm not so much concerned about my hair. Um... <laughs>